everybody. So um, it's nighttime and everybody's sleeping and so it's time for another crafting and cocktails. Um, tonight I'm in my jammies already. Got this whole the top knot thing going to keep my bangs out of my forehead. Uh, so it's jammy jam time but uh, I'm here working on uh, addressing invitations to a bridal shower and uh, so I'm in the middle of doing this, uh, the whole writing invitations thing, writing down addresses and stuff, and I thought, why not show you guys what I'm doing? Because uh, I'm pretty proud of my handwriting and what I do with it, and it's uh, something that you can see on Pinterest every once in a while, every once in a while I find it on there, how to make your handwriting look like calligraphy. And uh, I've been doing it for a few years now, before I ever saw Pinterest happen. Uh, the uh, I learned it whenever I was learning how to airbrush. Somebody taught me this trick, and so I've been using it with my regular handwriting whenever I wanted to make it look a little extra special special. Um, so that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm only about halfway through my invitations. Oh, and I mean half. I mean, I've got like a really good stack here left to do. Uh, but my marker is getting a little dry for the writing of that, so I'm going to show you something else in the middle of it and give that time to recoup. But what are we drinking? What are we drinking? And of course, every time I do a craft, I'm going to be drinking. No, not really. Not really every time. But um, but I am tonight. So I'm going to lose some things. So what we're drinking tonight in my pretty cup that matches what I'm wearing, matches my Jimmy Jam, uh, is, can you see it? Verity Raspberry Sparkle Teeny. It's really delicious. Uh, absolutely wonderful. It comes in a little champagne bottle. It makes me feel happy because it's like a purple label and it's all shimmery and stuff. And I think this is like four dollars for the bottle. Hey Amen. You want to see how much is left in here? Wah, 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 not very much. It's been a good night. It's delicious. Hmm. FYI, if something's like wine or champagne, if it doesn't taste like like apple juice, I don't like it. Like, beer is one thing, uh, you know, hard liquor is another thing, but with wine, I really don't like it. I don't like dry, and I don't, like, a Moscato is really good, and then this stuff is, like, Verity is good and sweet, and this stuff just tastes like, um, mm, sparkling vitamin water? Sparkling vitamin water? Is that kind of like, uh, the pomegranate vitamin water? Mm. Mm. Don't know, don't care, it's good. Okay. So what am I going to show you? Okay, so tonight uh, when I'm addressing labels, addressing labels, oh, oh, sparkle teeny. Um, okay, so most of the time whenever I'm writing, doing the calligraphy thing, I'm, <laughs> good night. Uh, I normally use the certain kind of pen. It's a black pen. It's like a marker pen. It's not quite a Sharpie. Uh, it's a little thinner than that, but I couldn't find any. I normally keep a good stock of like five of them around the house and I found none. So, so moving on, uh, that would be black. And so I was using red for these particular address, like, uh, addresses, these, oh. okay. So I was using red because thematically these were red. I'm going to show you in purple because my red is drying out. Okay. So I'm using a purple Sharpie. Uh, these work out perfectly fine. Now these are the ultra fine point, which are the the ones that are like this. Can you see it? See it? Is it focusing on me? Focusing on that? I don't know. Uh, but these are the super fine. Uh, so this is what I was using. And obviously whenever you're going to be doing on the uh, invitations, and I will show you, you know, what will I show you on? Um, okay, so if you already have your envelopes stuffed, or even if you don't have them stuffed, you want to put something, obviously, behind the piece of paper that you're writing on so that it doesn't bleed all the way through, because it does. Sharpies bleed through. So, like, this is my piece of paper that I've been stuffing inside of the envelope to write on top of, so this is all the stuff that has bled through that would have been on the, uh, invitations that I stuffed. And that would be sad to have all these little spots and yucky things. Of course, this is like 30 invitations worth and it's not making a whole lot of mess, but still that would be sad. And this is, uh, you could just use regular paper, but this is like a cardstock because that's what I had around. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm not looking. 
Um, so anyway, so this is, uh, you know, just to uh, solve your problems. So just stick something in there and, you know, just keep sticking it into the envelope that you're working on. And it also makes it so that if you've got uh, more than one thing in there, like something that would make it uneven, you can't see my hand, it's behind the piece of So if you've got something uneven on there, then you're not, like the cardstock will make it so that you have a flat surface that you're writing on and not make it bumpy bumpy. Okay. Okay, so we're going to try to make it so that you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. The odds of this working are very, very slim. Bygones. Okay. Let's see. I put you down right here. No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. That would be backwards, and you can't see what I'm doing backwards. All right. So. Okay. Okay. Do not make you dizzy. All right. Now, this is my workstation. Can you see it? Can you see? Oh, yes. This is my workstation. Okay. So, this is the fine, ultra fine point marker. Can you see what I'm doing? I can't tell. Okay. So, I'm going to write something. Hmm. Now, I wrote that really big so that you guys could see it. Uh, but for the purposes of this, that didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Can you see what I'm seeing? Okay. So, what you're going to do, so that's my regular handwriting for this particular thing. You can write in a lot of different ways. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull out for, for the points of demonstration. I'm going to use my fine point marker, which you wouldn't want to do on an address because you're not going to have, uh, Envelopes quite big enough to deal with this, but mm. Okay, so that's my regular handwriting kind of and so what you're gonna do to make it look like calligraphy It's a super easy process of every time you hit a downstroke you go over it twice Now I kind of showed you this on the other night whenever I was painting a bug, but I don't know if you could see it So I'm making it doubly thick on the downstrokes you see what I got going on? No, of course you can't because I'm losing my mind. Okay, here we go. I have no idea if you're seeing what I'm seeing. I apologize. I'm not going to edit this because that's not how I roll. Okay, so there I have gone down. Do, do, do going over the downstrokes twice. Now, obviously, like I said, I'm using this pin up here. Let me show you. Let me see if I can. Oh, put the tab back on. Okay. Pop it off. All right. So, in the smaller, you know, it's going to be a little bit more crucial that you know what you're doing. Well, because it's such a fine point. Oh, yeah, this looks like shit. Gee, sparkle teeny. You're making me look like a liar. Okay, and I will also note that some of the hardest letters to do this with are going to be S's, capital S's, capital D's, because they have a very long line that you're going to have to try to make thicker. Hmm. Steady hand always helps. Okay. Does that look like absolute shit? Ignore my S because the S isn't all the way done. But um, but yeah, so you kind of get the idea. Is you just want to make it kind of finish it off nicely. There's a lot of room for error. People aren't going to notice little things that you mess up on. And it's okay if it's a little splotchy too. Kind of gives it a feel. I'm not sure what that feel is. I don't know if it's something. You, oh, look at this! Now my purple's drying out. What the hey? What the shiznizzle here, folks? I don't know. Mm. Anyway, okay. So the S is tricky, and it's pro po probably because I did it so very large. Obviously, whenever I'm addressing things, it's going to be much smaller. It's going to be more like this big.
Okay. So that would be more uh, more the size that I would actually be writing in. And so, you know, it's a lot easier to just be like, womp, 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 womp. Womp, 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 womp. And like I said, you can even make it a little sketchy and make that kind of like the style that you're going for. I don't know if you can see. Okay, I'm done. Okay, <laughs> I'm not done. Of course, I'm not done. All right. Okay, so we're back here. Oh, that was kind of a nightmare. I don't like trying to hold it with one hand to do something with the other hand. But I think you get it. My, the idea is that you just go double down on the downstrokes. That doesn't even sound good to me. Frack. Ooh. Um, but anyway, so that's how I do it. Um, was there something else I was going to talk to you about? I have no idea. Um, hmm. Oh, I certainly... Now I'm throwing things. Okay. So I think that's all. I think that's all I have to say about that. Um... Uh, so yeah, I would think that you could use any fine tip marker for that. Oh, but I didn't show you. So whenever I'm doing this on an address and marker through is the one I need. Hold on, let me see if I can monkey toe grab it because I can't get under the table at this part. Oh, <laughs> okay. So uh, whenever I'm using this calligraphy-ish, faux calligraphy type uh, uh, writing for the names. Uh, I normally don't do it for the entire... Yeah, we're just going to finish that off. Uh, I normally don't do it for the entire thing because that gets really time consuming. I normally just do it for their name and then I do their address in a much more uh, normal font. So. So, Miss, uh, Mrs. Splendid McSplendid Pants. So, uh, do, do, do. McSplendid Pants. Okay, so, so there again, I've written, I've written her name there again on the bottom. Let's go ahead and fold that so we're not distracted by all the other nonsense. Okay, so Mrs. Splinting Black Splinter Pants lives at uh, one, two, three, four, Splendid Way, Splendid City, <laughs> Hawaii. No, I don't know the abbreviation for Hawaii. It shall be. Missouri. Splendid Waymo. I don't know a oh, zip code. I've gone too far with this fake address already. Okay, but anyway. So I will, you know, do a little bit of the basic calligraphy -ness. Mrs. Splendid McSplendid Splendid Pants has way too long of a name. Why couldn't her name have been Mrs. L. Splendid? I don't know. But anyway, so, so, very horrible version of the calligraphy that I've been talking about. But then I just do it like a very normal writing underneath it. Just, uh, you know, totally just a plain old printing of it. I don't know if my cocktails idea is working very well with my crafting. I feel like I'm coming off quite ignorant of what I'm doing. I really know what I'm doing. I have, I swear. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, so I think that's all. I'm going to keep on working on these, uh, despite the fact that I am apparently not knowing what I'm doing, but uh, for serious, like, but the, like, the last couple of ones I did were very nice. I'm going to show you somebody whose name isn't going to, uh, 
friend them, but I'm sure we're empty. Here we go. <laughs> I am figuring it out. Okay, so. Mm, no, that's not what I'm showing. This is tricky. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about somebody, do I have any people with normal names? I don't. I don't have, like, have anybody who has a normal name. What the hey? Hey. Hmm. All right, we're gonna use my Aunt Sally. She's a nun. You won't bother her, will you? Okay. So you can't see her, uh, her address. But you see how pretty that is? Look how pretty. Look how pretty I did. See? You can't tell me I'm not good at this. I'm good at this. How pretty is her name? And then, like, her address is printed uh, totally normal right here. But see? It's like. Um, so anyway, so I am doing it right. I'm just, you know, drinking. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So now I've been rambling on for like seven minutes about apparently nothing since I'm already done. Okay. So that's all. Um, I guess I will continue doing these types of videos, uh, since, you know, I'm doing this shit anyway, drinking and crafting. Um, so yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.